YouTubers, so got something I'm kind of excited about here. This should be an Intel i3-9100F CPU. All right, ninth generation. So let's go ahead and get it open, then we'll talk a little bit more about it. Uh, you should see some of the components that I have surrounding it that uh, I'm going to use for my next build for it. Uh, one is that white computer case there, mid-tower, available from Newegg via eBay for $33. It's a really nice case. Check out my uh, unboxing for that. And looks like they, they did a okay job of packing this. I think this is through one of uh, Amazon's vendors. Uh, $113.49 for it. One of the best prices you can get out there on it. So, make sure all our cameras are lined up. Um, so, what before I get into this, what I'm going to do for a build, we've got an MSI Z370 performance motherboard. Of course, that's overkill for this type processor uh, since it does not have a K in the name and the Z370 is able to be overclocked. 9100F, F, in case you don't know, means that you will be required to have a video card um, to start this up. You'll have to make sure that your monitor is hooked up to the video card and not to your motherboard because you're not going to see anything if you don't have a graphics card. All right, so there's a couple of things about this uh, processor before I get it open. Now, uh... Should be four cores, four threads, all right? And performance-wise, if you go to places like CPU User Benchmark like I do, this processor is honestly, from what I saw, about the equivalent of an i5-7600, okay? Performance-wise, not only in single-core score, but uh, multi- and quad-core. Very similar to that in... Uh, I want to say it actually performs better than that, to be honest with you. But not as good as an i5-7600K, uh, which is an overclockable chip. So, to be honest with you, not bad. That chip is still available uh, to be purchased, and it runs a hell of a lot more than this thing does. Now, um, what else do we want to talk about with this, folks? So, I get a lot of questions on my page about 9th Gen. Um, you know, I have had a couple 9th gen processors and uh, people are always asking me what motherboards are going to be good right out the bat. Z390, all right. Then you've got to look for, to be honest with you, go to Amazon. And I'll put some links down below, hopefully. Go to Amazon and look for motherboards that say uh, they're 8th and 9th gen compatible. So you're talking 300 series. But you also want to make sure that the motherboard you're getting is one of the latest ones. And that uh, that will ensure that it has an updated BIOS. Okay, So let's say you buy a motherboard, install it, and you do a perfect job of installing. But you still don't get a picture on your uh, computer screen. Uh, most likely, you need a BIOS update so that it will support a 9th gen chip. Okay, and now how do you go about that? Um, I tell you, the simplest thing to do is get a hold of a um, 8th gen Celeron. The G4900 is the cheapest one out there. It's about $60, $58.49. I'll have a link for that down below too. Um, there's some other ones in there that are relatively cheap. But uh, that is that is you know possibly your cheapest route. Then you dump that CPU on uh, eBay, get uh, hopefully 75% of your money back. Um, the Z390 motherboards are really pricey. To be honest with you, you could get a cheap board like this guy. Oops, hopefully I didn't just break anything there. $55 for the Gigabyte H310M, 8th gen, 9th gen board. Okay, but this guy needs a uh, BIOS update. So if you update that, um, for the price of that motherboard and a CPU at 115 bucks, that is about equivalent to what a Z390 motherboard costs. Uh, so if you dump the CPU, the, the Celeron, 
off on eBay than uh, probably the cheapest way to do it. All right, so luckily in my case, I have a lot of CPUs and we are not so concerned about uh, that because I've got enough eight gens here uh, that I can update BIOS. Now, the other thing to do is look for a service that will uh, update your motherboard or possibly uh, something that I occasionally do to make more videos. I'll buy a motherboard, test it out, update the BIOS and sell it on eBay. And that BIOS will pretty much be brand new. It might have a couple hours on it, but it will be updated and run your, uh, run your night gen chip. So, uh, and there's probably people out there that will allow you to mail your motherboard to them, update it and send it back to you. That would probably be pretty pricey. I'm assuming at least $20, uh, to ship it. Um, well, probably anywhere from let's say 12 to 20 to ship it to somebody and 12 to 20 plus whatever their service charge is. If you really find yourself struggling, make me, uh, uh, you can contact me possibly, uh, we can arrive at some kind of deal and I can update your motherboard for you if you need it. But enough of that. All right. So this is an unboxing video and uh, people are in here for an unbox. So a couple things you probably want to know. One, does this have a CPU fan, which uh, I can tell you because of the weight of the box, it does. Other things about this, uh, you got to make sure you get a 300 series motherboard. Okay. Like I said. So we've got a bunch of them here on the table, but uh, you're going to look for uh, Z370, Z390, H310M, B360, and there's probably a couple other ones. Um, and you want to make sure, though, those have the most updated BIOS, okay? So speed's up to 4.2 gigahertz, four cores, four threads, and uh, let's go ahead and get her open, all right? So, God, I love new technology. So from what I had uh, reckoned, folks, and I'll, I'll eventually do a benchmark video so you can see it. This is, uh, like I said, somewhat equivalent to an i5-7600, somewhere between that and an i5-7600K. And, uh, dang, I don't want to destroy my box. Um, and so that is, that's pretty snazzy. Um, you know, it wasn't that long ago people were buying chips like that. Um... And so this thing's got some decent decent power to it. So before we get on to that, let's see what our sticker says. So we have the old user manual. And voila, there is your Core i3 9th Gen. All right. So this will go on the outside of that case, assuming the new owner wants it there. I'm actually uh, building this for somebody. And uh, all right. So one thing at a time here. You know, I've done this a zillion times, and every time I get confused, I'm going to get these things open. So I can pull the CPU out first, but I'm kind of dragging this out. So uh, in case you're watching this and you don't know any better, you will get thermal paste on here. I always suggest buying extra thermal paste. Um, not, not because you need to put more on here than what's on there, but uh, there may come a point where you screw up your installation and you need thermal paste and you have pretty much wiped all this off and not such a good thing all right plus you may we talked about updating your bios you may need to put an 8 gen chip in there update your bios and then you're going to need something like that all right pretty cheap uh this is your standard intel fan these are uh, somewhat noisy to be honest with you for this computer probably not big that big a deal um i wouldn't recommend a knock two or something really ridiculous expensive but uh, maybe, you know, spend, I think, 30 bucks on a Hyper 212 EVO. You'll be happy. Super quiet. I'll have the link down below for that. Not that I'm trying to pitch everything on here. But uh, those are quite a few of the things I deal with. Super cheap uh, CPU fan for the money. All right. So nothing spectacular about that. But it is nice for you beginners out there um, to have something like that. All right. So there is our, our CPU. Um, God, I don't know if this really is an unbox video unless I at least open it up. I don't have my, uh, my equipment on here, so I don't really want to touch it. But, uh, there you can see on there, i3-9100F. Once again, the F, a Foxtrot there, 
is uh, letting you know that you need a graphics card, okay? So another processor you've seen on here is we've had the i5-9400F on here. And uh, not that I've become much of an expert on these things, but uh, lo and behold, I have become somewhat of an expert. And uh, so what does that say? 3.68 gigahertz. Uh, and then speeds up to uh, 4.3 on their turbo. There's the uh, the bottom, which I would say if I put a ton of these together, I would not know the difference. All right, so um, that's about it, folks, um, for this video. I will have a benchmark video, and um, then probably, a, well, an installation video, a benchmark, and uh, maybe another video where we talk about the computer I'm going to put together. Uh, before I install it. Thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.